Salam and good day. Hi, it's Mr. Afiz. Today we are going to revise about spermatogenesis based on chapter 4 reproduction and growth. So, happy learning! First, we need to know that the sperm formation is known as spermatogenesis. In spermatogenesis, it has two stages which is the first one is the formation of the spermatocytes and the second one is the formation of the sperms but please remember that both of these process occur in sequence which the formation of the spermatocyte is the first stages and it is followed by the formation of the sperm formation of the spermatocyte first the testis is the reproductive organ in the male and within the testis we have the seminiferous tubules which produce the sperm by the spermatogenesis and within the wall of the seminiferous tubule we have the germinal cell or known as germinal epithelial cells or primordial germ cell which are deployed which is represented by 2n and also means that this cell contain the 46 number of the chromosome so let i write down here this is the germinal cells of the seminiferous tubule so what happened next this uh, germinal cell will undergo mitosis and will produce one cell sorry two cell which is known as the spermatogonia and both of these cell are also diploid which means it has the 46 number of the chromosome Next, all these two spermatogonia will undergo growth and it will form what we call as the primary spermatocyte, which is also a diploid cell. As you can see, the size of the primary spermatocyte is a little bit bigger than the spermatogonia because of the growth process. Now we move on to the second stage, which is the formation of the sperm. Now, each of the primary spermatocyte, which is uh, formed by the growth process of the spermatogonia, will undergo the meiosis 1 to form two secondary spermatocytes. So this is the primary spermatocyte. So this primary spermatocyte will undergo meiosis one and it will form two cell which is known as the secondary spermatocyte so starting from the meiosis 1 the number of the chromosome become haploid okay which means that the number of chromosomes split from 46 to 23 now what happened next is the secondary spermatocyte will undergo meiosis 2 okay both of the secondary spermatocyte will undergo or will continue with the meiosis 2 and this will form four spermatid okay this four cell is known as the spermatid and all the spermatid is a haploid cell and please take note that the spermatid is not yet a sperm or the spermatozoa okay now what will happen to the spermatid is 
all the spermatid cell will undergo differentiation and through this process it will form sperm or also known as the spermatozoa and all the sperm are haploid cell which is symbol by n and it has the 23 number of the chromosome so for the summary we know that spermatogenesis is a process to form sperm then we know that the spermatogenesis occur in the testes specifically is the seminiferous tubule of the testes then we know that the spermatogenesis can be divided into two stages which occur in sequence the first one is the formation of the primary spermatocyte and the second stage is the formation of sperm then we know that there is uh, two type of cell division occur which is the mitosis from diploid to diploid cell and the other one is the meiosis from diploid to haploid cell and then we learn also involve two cell process which is the cell growth and also cell differentiation now let's recap on how the sperm is produced so it start with the germinal cell of the seminiferous tubule which is uh, diploid so this cell will undergo mitosis to form two diploid cell known as the spermatogonia so what happen is the spermatogonia will undergo growth to form a little bit bigger primary spermatocyte which is also a diploid cell next this primary spermatocyte will undergo the meiosis 1 and it will form the secondary spermatocyte which is haploid cell so the secondary spermatocyte will continue with the meiosis 2 okay and it will form the spermatid which is also haploid cell then all the spermatid will undergo the cell differentiation to form sperm okay or known as the spermatozoa which is also a haploid cell please refer to the diagram for better understanding that's all for me thank you